The Institution of Engineering and Technology is a multidisciplinary professional engineering institution. The IET was formed in 2006 from two separate institutions, the Institution of Electrical Engineers IEE, dating back to 1871, and the Institution of Incorporated Engineers e, dating back to 1884. Its worldwide membership is currently in excess of 167,000. The IET's main offices are in Savoy Place in London, England and at Michael Faraday House in Stevenage, England. In the United Kingdom, the IET has the authority to establish professional registration for the titles of Chartered Engineer, Incorporated Engineer, Engineering Technician, and ICT Technician. As a licensed member institution of the Engineering Council, the IET is registered as a charity in England and Wales, and in Scotland. Topic Formation Discussions started in 2004 between the IEE and the EE about merging to form a new institution. In September 2005, both institutions held votes of the merger and the members voted in favor 73.5% IEE, 95.7% EE. This merger also needed government approval, so a petition was then made to the Privy Council of the United Kingdom for a supplemental charter, to allow the creation of the new institution. This was approved by the Privy Council on December 14, 2005, and the new institution emerged on March 31, 2006. History of the IEE The Society of Telegraph Engineers was formed on May 17, 1871, and it published the Journal of the Society of Telegraph Engineers from 1872 through 1880. Carl Wilhelm Siemens was first president of IEE in 1872. On December 22, 1880, the STE was renamed as the Society of Telegraph Engineers and of Electricians and, as part of this change, it renamed its journal the Journal of the Society of Telegraph Engineers and of Electricians 1881 and later the Journal of the Society of Telegraph Engineers and Electricians 1883 Following a meeting of its council on 10 November 1887, it was decided to adopt the name of the Institution of Electrical Engineers IEE. The name of the Institution of Electrical Engineers remains engraved in the marble façade of its headquarters at Savoy Place. As part of this change, its journal was renamed Journal of the Institution of Electrical Engineers in 1889, and it kept this title through 1963. In 1921, the institution was incorporated by Royal Charter and, following mergers with the Institution of Electronic and Radio Engineers in 1988 and the Institution of Manufacturing Engineers in 1990, it had a worldwide membership of around 120,000. The IEE represented the engineering profession, operated professional networks worldwide groups of engineers sharing common technical and professional interests, had an educational role including the accreditation of degree courses and operated schemes to provide awards scholarships, grants and prizes. 
it was well known for publication of the IEE wiring regulations which now continue to be written by the IET and to be published by the British Standards Institution as BS 7671. The IET hosts the Archive for the Women's Engineering Society and it has also provided office space for West since 2005. Topic: History of the E. The modern institution of incorporated engineers e traced its heritage to the Vulcanic Society that was founded in 1884 and became the Junior Institution of Engineers in 1902, which became the Institution of General Technician Engineers in 1970. It changed its name in 1976 to the Institution of Mechanical and General Technician Engineers. At this point it merged with the Institution of Technician Engineers in Mechanical Engineering and formed the Institution of Mechanical Incorporated Engineers in 1988. The Institution of Engineers in Charge, which was founded in 1895, was merged into the Institution of Mechanical Incorporated Engineers in 1990. The Institution of Electrical and Electronic Technician Engineers, the Society of Electronic and Radio Technicians, and the Institute of Practitioners in Radio and Electronics merged in 1990 to form the Institution of Electronics and Electrical Incorporated Engineers the EE was formed in April 1998 by the merger of the Institution of Electronic and Electrical Incorporated Engineers IEEIE, the Institution of Mechanical Incorporated Engineers IMECI, and the Institute of Engineers and Technicians IET, not to be confused with the later formed Institution of Engineering and Technology. In 1999 there was a further merger with the Institution of Incorporated Executive Engineers EX. The E had a worldwide membership of approximately 40,000. Topic: History of the Institution of Manufacturing Engineers. The Institution of Manufacturing Engineers IMFGE, formerly the Institution of Production Engineers IPROD, was founded following the initiative of 1HE Honer who wrote to a technical periodical titled «Engineering Production» suggesting that the time was ripe to form an institution for the specialized interests of engineers engaged in manufacture. As a result of correspondence generated by this letter a meeting was held at Cannon Street Hotel in London on 26 February 1921. At this meeting it was decided to form the IPROD in order to, establish the status and designation of production or manufacturing engineers, to promote the science of practical production in industry, and to facilitate the interchange of ideas between engineers, manufacturers and other specialists. The term production engineering came into use to describe the management of factory production techniques first developed by Henry Ford, which had expanded greatly during the First World War. The IPROD was incorporated in 1931 and was granted its armorial bearings in 1937. From the outset the institution operated through decentralized branches called local sections wherever a sufficient number of members existed. These local sections were self-governing and elected their own officers. Local sections held monthly meetings at which papers were read and discussed. Outstanding papers were published in the institution's journal. 
Named papers commemorating the work of the following eminent production engineers were read at national meetings, Viscount Nuffield, Sir Alfred Herbert, Colonel George Bray, Lord Sempill, E. H. Hancock, and J. N. Kirby. National and regional conferences were also arranged dealing with specific industrial problems. Active councils were gradually established worldwide including in Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, and South Africa. The institution's education committee established a graduate examination which all junior entrants undertook from 1932 onwards. An examination for associate membership was introduced in 1951. The Second World War further accelerated developments in production engineering and by 1945 membership of the IPROD stood at 5,000. The 1950s and 1960s were perhaps the most fruitful period for the institution. Major conferences such as the Automatic Factory in 1955 ensured that the institution held a place at the forefront of production technology. A royal charter was granted in 1964 and membership stood at over 17,000 by 1969. In 1981 the IPROD instituted four medals as part of its Diamond Jubilee celebrations comprising, the International Award, the Mensforth Gold Medal, the Nuffield Award and the Silver Medal. The Mensforth Gold Medal was named after Sir Eric Mensforth, founder and chairman of Westland Helicopters and a former IPROD president. The medal was awarded to British recipients who had made an outstanding contribution to the advancement of production engineering technology. Today the Mensforth Manufacturing Gold Medal is the IET's premier manufacturing award. Financial constraints, a slowing in membership and a blurring of distinctions between the various branches of engineering led the IPROD to merger proposals in the late 1980s. The Institution of Electrical Engineers had interests very close to those of the IPROD. The IEE was a much larger organization than the IPROD and the proposal was that the IPROD should be represented as a specialist division within the IEE. While these talks were reaching fruition in 1991 the IPROD changed its name to the Institution of Manufacturing Engineers. A merger with the IEE took place the same year, with the IMFGE becoming the IEE's new manufacturing division. <laughs> IET presidents The IET is governed by the President, the CEO, and Board of Trustees. The IET Council, on the other hand, serves as the advisory and consultative body, representing views of the members at large and offering advice to the Board of Trustees. Since founding the IET, several prominent engineers have served as its president and the recent presidents are listed below. 2018. Mr. Michael Douglas Carr 2017 – Mr. Nick Windsor CBE Fring BSC 2016 – Jeremy Daniel MCK Watson CBE Fring MSC DPHIL 2015 – Naomi Clymer Fring BSC 2014 – William Timothy Webb Fring Bang MBA PhD 2013 Commodore Barry P.S. Brooks B.S.C. Royal Navy 2012 Andy Hopper C.B.E.F.R.S. Fring 2011 Michael John Short Fring B.A. 
2010 Nigel John Burton BSc Eng PhD 2009 Christopher Maxwell Snowden FRS Fring 2008 Christopher Martin Earnshaw Fring BSc 2007 John Neil Lowhead BSc Eng MSc Dick FCGI 2006 Sir Robin Saxby Bang Fring 2005 Sir John Chisholm M.A. Fring 2004 Professor John O'Reilly Fring 2003 Sir David Brown Fring CENG BSC DMS 2002 Professor Michael John Howard Sterling Fring 2001 Professor Brian Mellet Fring Dick 2000 Professor John Edwin Midwinter Fring FRS Topic purpose and function The IET represents the engineering profession in matters of public concern and assists governments to make the public aware of engineering and technological issues. It provides advice on all areas of engineering, regularly advising Parliament and other agencies. The IET also grants Chartered Engineer, Incorporated Engineer, Engineering Technician, and ICT Technician professional designations on behalf of the Engineering Council UK. Yang is roughly equivalent to North American Professional Engineer designations and CENG is set at a higher level. Both designations have far greater geographical recognition. This is made possible through a number of networks for engineers established by the IET including the professional networks, worldwide groups of engineers sharing common technical and professional interests. Through the IET website, these networks provide up-to-date sector-specific news, stock a library of technical articles and give members the opportunity to exchange knowledge and ideas with peer groups through dedicated discussion forums. Particular areas of focus include education, IT, energy and the environment. The IET has an educational role, seeking to support its members through their careers by offering a professional home for life, producing advice and guidance at all levels to secure the future of engineering. For instance, the IET accredits degree courses worldwide in subjects relevant to electrical, electronic, manufacturing and information engineering. In addition, it secures funding for professional development schemes for engineering graduates including awards scholarships, grants and prizes. For the public, the IET website provides fact files on topics such as solar power, nuclear power, fuel cells, micro-generation and the possible effects on health of mobile phones and power lines. The IET runs the Bibliographic Information Service INSPEC, which is a major indexing database of scientific and technical literature and publishes books, journals such as Electronics Letters, magazines such as Engineering and Technology and Conference Proceedings. Over 80,000 technical articles are available via the IET Digital Library. IET.TV is one of the world's largest collated resources of authoritative and multidisciplinary engineering and technology content. Comprising in excess of 6,500 presentation, lecture and training videos, this high-quality engineering information offers research insight, workflow solutions and access to inspirational events and expert communities. With a range of search and user functionalities, IET.TV enables online video access to a range of topics and expertise. 
IET.TV also has an YouTube presence, where it publishes a wide variety of content related to engineering and technology. Topic membership and Fellow The IET has several categories of membership, some with designatory postnominals. Honorary Fellow refers to distinguished individuals whom the IET desires to honor for services rendered to the IET. Fellow FIET Fellow of the Institution of Engineering and Technology FIET refers to a person who has demonstrated significant individual responsibility, sustained achievement and professionalism in engineering areas relevant to the interests of the institution member MIET or TMIET. This category is open to professional engineers MIET and technicians. TMIET with suitable qualifications and involvement in areas relevant to the interests of the institution. MIET is a regulated professional title recognized in Europe by the Directive 2005-36. MIET is listed on the Part II professions regulated by professional bodies incorporated by Royal Charter Statutory Instruments 2007 No. 2781 Professional Qualifications The European Communities Recognition of Professional Qualifications Regulations 2007, Associatopen to persons with an interest in areas relevant to the interests of the Institution who do not qualify for the member category, student topin to persons studying to become professional engineers and technicians. Topic publications The IET has a journals publishing program, totaling 24 titles such as IET Software as of March 2012, with the addition of IET Biometrics and IET Networks. The journals contain both original and review-oriented papers relating to various disciplines in electrical, electronics, computing, control, biomedical and communications technologies. Electronics Letters is a peer-reviewed rapid communication journal, which publishes short original research papers every two weeks. Its scope covers developments in all electronic and electrical engineering related fields. Also available to Electronics Letters subscribers are something called the Insight Letters, Micro and Nano Letters, first published in 2006, specializes in the rapid online publication of short research papers concentrating on advances in miniature and ultraminiature structures and systems that have at least one dimension ranging from a few tens of micrometers to a few nanometers. It offers a rapid route for international dissemination of research findings generated by researchers from the micro and nano communities. <laughs> Awards and scholarships <laughs> Achievement medals The IET Achievement Medals are awarded to individuals who have made major and distinguished contributions in the various sectors of science, engineering and technology. The medals are named after famous engineers and persons, such as Michael Faraday, John Ambrose Fleming, J. J. Thompson, and Oliver Heaviside. The judging panel look for outstanding and sustained excellence in one or more activities. For example, research and development, innovation, design, manufacturing, technical management, and the promotion of engineering and technology. Faraday Medal the Faraday Medal is the highest medal and honor of the IET. 
Named after Michael Faraday, the medal is awarded for notable scientific or industrial achievement in engineering or for conspicuous service rendered to the advancement of science, engineering and technology without restriction as regards nationality, country of residence or membership of the institution. It is awarded not more frequently than once a year. The award was established in 1922 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the first ordinary meeting of the Society of Telegraph Engineers, J. J. Thomson Medal for Electronics. The J. J. Thomson Medal for Electronics was created in 1976 by the Electronics Divisional Board of the Institution of Electrical Engineers, IEE, and is awarded to candidates who have made major and distinguished contributions in electronics, Ambrose Fleming Medal the Ambrose Fleming Medal for Information and Communications were first awarded in 2007 to Professor Simon Kingsley. It was named after John Ambrose Fleming, the inventor of vacuum tubes, and is awarded to candidates who have made outstanding and distinguished contributions to digital communications, telecommunications, and information engineering. Mensforth Manufacturing Gold Medal the Mensforth Manufacturing Gold Medal is awarded to candidates who have made major and distinguished contributions to advancing the manufacturing sector. Like the Faraday Medal, the Mensforth Manufacturing Gold Medal is awarded without restriction regarding nationality, country of residence or membership of the IET. Mountbatten Medal the Mountbatten Medal celebrates individuals who have made an outstanding contribution, over a period of time, to the promotion of electronics or information technology and their application. Contributions can be within the spheres of science, technology, industry or commerce and in the dissemination of the understanding of electronics and information technology, whether to young people, or adults. The medal was founded by the National Electronics Council in 1992 and named after the Earl Mountbatten of Burma, the Admiral of the Fleet and Governor General of India. Topic: Other recognitions. IET Volunteer Medal introduced in 2015. The IET Volunteer Medal is awarded to individuals for major and outstanding contributions voluntarily given to furthering the aims of the IET Young Woman Engineer (YWE) since 1978. The IET has awarded the Young Woman Engineer Award to top female engineers in the UK to recognise the contribution contribution they make and to encourage young women and girls to consider engineering as a career. The award was created as part of an initiative to address the shortage of women in engineering roles. <laughs> <laughs> Scholarships The IET offered Diamond Jubilee undergraduate scholarships for first-year students studying an IET-accredited degree. Winners receive between £1,000 to £2,000 per year, for up to four years to help with their studies. Eligibility is partially based on the exam results at the final year of school prior to university. IET also offers postgraduate scholarships intended for IET members carrying out doctoral research. The postgraduate scholarships offered by the IET assist members with awards of up to £10,000 to further research engineering related topics at universities. The IET Engineering Horizons Bursary are offered at £1,000 per year for undergraduate students on IET accredited degree courses in the UK and apprentices starting an IET approved apprenticeship scheme. 
for those UK residents who have overcome personal challenges to pursue an engineering education. Topic: The IET outside the United Kingdom. The IET refers to its region-specific branches as local networks. Australia IET Australia is the Australian local network of the IET Institution of Engineering and Technology. The Australian local network of the IET has representation in all the states and territories of Australia. These include the state branches, their associated younger members sections, and university sections in Australia. The younger members sections are divided in categories based on each state, e.g. IET YMS New South Wales IET YMS NSW Canada The IET Toronto network covers IET activities in the southern and western areas of Ontario and has approximately 500 members. The first Canadian branch of the IEE now the IET was inaugurated by John Thompson, FIEE, and Harry Copping, FIEE, in Toronto in the early 1950s. Topic Hong Kong IET Hong Kong is the Hong Kong local network formerly branch of the IET Institution of Engineering and Technology. The Hong Kong local network of the IET has representations in the Asian region and provides a critical link into mainland China. It includes six sections, i.e. Electronics and Communications Section ECS, Informatics and Control Technologies Section ICTS, Management Section MS, Power and Energy Section PES, Manufacturing and Industrial Engineering MIS, Railway Section RS, as well as the Younger Members Section. It has over 5,000 members and activities are coordinated locally. It is one of the professional organizations for chartered engineers in Hong Kong. Topic: Italy. IET Italy local network was established in 2007 by a group of active members led by Dr. M. Fiorini with the purpose to represent locally the aims and services of the IET. The vision of sharing and advancing knowledge throughout the global science, engineering and technology community to enhance people's lives is achieved building up an open, flexible and global knowledge network supported by individuals, companies and institutions and facilitated by the IET and its members. India. An IET India office was established in 2006. India has eight local networks, Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Kanyakumari, Kolkata, Mumbai, Nashik and Pune. The prestigious IET Pinkerton Lecture is presented annually in Bangalore. Kenya An IET in Kenya was established on November 16, 2011. It is registered under the Societies Act Section 10 Certificate of Registration No. 35998. The institution has been enacted in the Kenya National Assembly of the Engineering Technologists Act No. 23 of 2016. 
with support of faculty at the newly established Technical University of Kenya, formerly the Kenya Polytechnic, and Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. The proposed bill seeks to register technologists, technicians, and craftsmen who were previously excluded from registration by the Engineering Board of Kenya. Topic. Kuwait IET Kuwait Community was established in 2013 by Dr. Abdulrahman Abdelazim. The community is very active in the region, overseeing four student chapters in Kuwait universities. The community's most notable event was the 2015 GCC Robotics Challenge, the challenge witnessed collaboration with many networks in the region. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysia IET Malaysia Local Network has more than 1,500 members located in Malaysia. In addition, the Malaysia Local Network has encouraged the formation of on-campus in public and private universities. These on-campuses are mentored by the Young Professional Section of IET. As of December 2016, there are a total of 10 active on campuses. Topic See also Engineering Glossary of Engineering Engineering Ethics Faraday Medal IET Achievement Medals Mountbatten Medal Society of Engineers UK Society of Professional Engineers UK